I can't believe I've never done this before. All 50 US states recolonizing the globe. Like we've had, you know, games with the states before, but obviously everyone's still there. What's this world gonna be like when Alabama colonizes India? My birth state hopefully can carry on my legacy for me. Uh, also, California, be rooting for them too. But honestly, who knows? You'd be surprised, like you don't necessarily need to be on a coastline. That's what I notice. A lot of these guys in the middle do really well. But I should have mentioned there are more than just the 50 states. There's also Puerto Rico and Fortnite Islands. Fortnite Islands, hot. You see what I, you see what I did there? It's also my spirit nation. I'm gonna guess that everyone's gonna forget about Hawaii and they're just gonna easily run away with it. Like they can probably get to Oceania, Asia first before anyone else and then they'll have a huge head start. Same goes for Alaska as well. That is unless they get destroyed because I'm sure Washington, Idaho, Montana, they're gonna get up towards Canada pretty quickly here. They might have to face, you know, some conflicts. Now I believe everyone, yes, everyone starts off with uh, at least one or two colonists. Oh, Florida, that's a, that's a messed up move right there. And for the northern states, there's already gonna be a bunch of people competing for all of Canada, and there really isn't even that much territory up here, considering like a lot of it's wasteland, right? Oregon doing something kind of similar to Florida, not quite as bad though, but that's good. You know, you can't let Washington just take everything up this way. I'm kind of worried because at the start here, Texas is number one, and they're also in the best position to just go after all of Mexico and South America. If someone doesn't stop them, they might just run away with it. New Mexico is oddly kind of high. I just realized it's because, yeah, they, they grabbed this, which is probably more than the other states have. Also, don't be discouraged if your state gets taken out early because there's a very high chance they come back. You never know with EU4, rebellions could pop up. They could get liberated by someone else. So keep that in mind. California is already facing a pretty big coalition. Arizona, Nevada, Idaho. At least they got Oregon on their side. Is this claims? They have claims in Nevada? What's up with that? Kansas took a nice bite out of Nebraska and they also took something out of Oklahoma. Oklahoma's just barely holding on and I'm assuming Texas is probably gonna get this last piece. Boom! Florida now has two provinces really cutting off Texas. I mean, someone's gonna have to do something because this is unfair. They will just grab all of this if I don't know, something doesn't distract them. We also have North Carolina out here in Turks, Turk Islands, as well as South Carolina in uh, Bahamas. Oh yeah, totally forgot about religion. Let's see what everyone's believing in. That is pretty mixed. I wonder if this is based on actual data. Can anyone back that up? Oh, they are gonna have to convert the entire world though, which is interesting. Uh, Alright, well, let's see how much they can actually do. Michigan also not looking very good as the Buckeyes kind of taking a bite out of the south and Wisconsin kind of cutting them off over this way. Then there's New York who is probably, I'd assume, gonna take most of this stuff. Aren't they the great power this way? Interesting to see that most of the US is American culture, but uh, we have Castilian in parts of Texas and New Mexico and California. Alright, that's surprising. And then uh, France and Louisiana expected that. That's uh, yeah, they definitely did some stuff. Canada's got natives, just, just native stuff. California has grabbed up northern Nevada, but unfortunately for them, they're now dealing with another homeless crisis. They've also taken a lot of Baja California, which if they have claims on anything, it, it should be this just because of the name alone. Texas has kicked out Florida, and I'm assuming that's because Florida's dealing with their own problems. Georgia just coming down here getting all this stuff. The map is starting to look really ugly now, so uh, Washington, getting Oregon lands, Idaho, getting, oh, is that California too? How did you guys get here? That's impressive. Really bad stuff's happening in like the Midwest and beyond, I guess. The Der Dakotas is going at it. Uh, Iowa is looking a little bit better. I don't know what's gonna happen. New York's still going strong, I guess, taking Ohio out. And Alaska's cutting on down, getting closer and closer to Washington. Also, Oregon lost this little island, didn't they? Bad things are happening to the superpowers. Texas is getting beaten back by New Mexico. Uh, also, Florida's back once again, and California just completely collapsed. <laughs> Utah? What? We also got Nebraska, Kansas looking pretty good. Uh, some people kind of barely holding on. This part of the states are still somewhat normal. New York is gonna have to face a new rival here in Wisconsin, as they've taken most of Michigan. Wisconsin doing all right. Oh yeah, Minnesota got taken out. Or they're migrating at least, they're migrating. You're gonna see that happen to a lot of states, like they won't even be in their home area anymore because yeah, they've taken other things. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be rooting for my birth state now because uh, Californians are gonna get taken out real quick. They need to probably colonize something. This is really odd, like this is so much land they have here now, I'm not used to that. The showdown is only heating up more and more. New York and Wisconsin getting ready for some stuff. Also, New Hampshire quietly doing pretty well over here as they 
Uh, I'll don't really have to face any more enemies. I mean, Connecticut, Vermont, and Maine, they're holding on. As long as New York doesn't hurt them, New Hampshire might just keep on going. Pennsylvania doing well. Virginia's kind of making a comeback. Also, Georgia's taking out all of Florida, and Alabama's gotten some new stuff too. California's just barely holding on still. Don't know how that's happening. Montana looking great as uh, they can maybe grab all of this. Washington and Alaska kind of getting into little battles over Canada. North Dakota's been taken out by Minnesota, which is interesting Minnesota is getting some of their stuff back if California deserves Baja California then I guess New Mexico does deserve all of Mexico Mexico's pulling ahead too I think they're probably the strongest state out there now Georgia looking pretty great too though they got the Bahamas and all of this as long as they don't have to face a coalition they could be maybe in second place Wisconsin probably looks the sexiest out of all the northern states and our Kansas becoming the the real Kansas our Kansas is the best Kansas. California's been officially eaten by Utah and Washington, which, wa wow, Washington, that's crazy. Idaho, just quietly trying not to disturb anyone. Oregon's doing good though. Oregon's doing real good. They're just trying to hold on to that coastline. As long as they do that, they can go out and colonize. New York has also been taken out. So like, what is that? The top four powers, Florida, California, Texas, New York, they are almost all gone. I mean, they're barely around, but not much. Maine has shocked everyone by taking out this whole area. I'm assuming with the fall of New York, that helped. And maybe Wisconsin's like propping them up. Texas is still doing okay. Although New Mexico kind of got cut off by Utah now. So the race is on for Mexico. Oh, Connecticut's over here. Everyone's going after Mexico. Actually, I should say everyone's going after the Caribbean. This thing is so divided. So Georgia's here a little bit. Pennsylvania, South Carolina, uh, people are well, Puerto Rico going after this, what, Haiti and stuff. I like how Minnesota is still holding on incredibly, even though they move further and further away. They have that state and here in Canada. What is this? Minnesota and what? Red River of the North. <laughs> I will say that is a pretty awesome name. You just never know who's gonna come back out of nowhere. Like, it's amazing to see some of these states around and still doing all right. North America has now officially been fully colonized. Took a while and, uh, well, a lot of things have happened. Also, Utah formed the first formable nation. Had no idea they could do that. Arkansas is taking out Alabama. This is the only state I can root for anymore. Come on, man, just just leave them. I mean, they can still colonize, we'll see. South Carolina taking out most of, oh, Georgia fell. What happened to Georgia? This is such a roller coaster ride. So Maine, Wisconsin still doing well. Washington, I guess we kind of expected that. Wyoming, is this the least populated state? Never imagined they'd make it this far. And now it's time to imperialize South America. So Delaware, South Carolina, the Virgin Islands going, oh man, South, yeah, South Carolina is going to do well since they kind of are in a perfect position. West Virginian Brazil. Never thought I'd say that in my life. Vermonter, is that really the name for people of Vermont? Vermonter Brazil. Vermonter Brazil. And that looks pretty sexy. Then there's Maryland and Puerto Rico. All right, so things are going to get crazy. Desserts, formerly known as Utah, is now just taking over all of the West Coast. Just everything. New Mexico's still around which they took out Texas. And pretty much people were just kind of cleaning up a lot of the smaller places. Unless these smaller places can get out to Europe or something like that, I think they're probably gonna die off. South America is now fully colonized and uh, mostly just, oh, Georgia's still going. Georgia and Peru, uh, Maryland, South America, Vermont. Oh, Texas is in the Yucatan. And they got two things. So you never know, like <laughs> it's gonna be crazy to see like who gets revived. And New Jersey, New Jersey is, here with uh, with Florida and unfortunately Connecticut has been cut off from the coast. That's pretty bad. Oh, but you know what? It doesn't even matter because they are now officially in Africa with a couple of other people. New Jersey, New New Jersey Guinea is that what that is? New places will form because I forgot the reason why. But uh, like native countries will start to pop up in some of these lands. I don't know, EU4 just does that. We got Florida and the Ivory Coast, as well as Rhode Island, and a couple people in the Congo, New Jersey as well, Maine. We should see the same face as Connecticut, West Virginia. South Carolina, with almost all of South Africa, works perfectly there. They're just gonna take over all the southern places. Florida in Madagascar, that's kind of terrifying. They might be doing some uh, biological warfare once they get a hold of that Black Plague. A native Japanese nation has formed up, so we might see Japan, possibly, Puerto Rico, <laughs> Maine. Some of the weaker states are now getting kicked out of South America, so Maryland or South America. Looks like they might take everything over. Then there's still Vermont, still West Virginia and Brazil. Who is the Virgin Islands taking everything? Nice job, gamers. North America still somewhat looks the same, although Texas got some stuff back, New Mexico just collapsed, and 
Florida can continue to colonize. I don't know what's going on. They look better than they do in their starting position. I don't know how this happened, but now nations in Africa, native nations in Africa are kicking out the Americans, except for Rhode Island. Rhode Island's still going well. No, we might lose Florida and Hindustan. Again, words I never thought would be combined in my life. These are brand new sentences. Even though it looks like Maryland's doing pretty well too, honestly. Uh, there's a lot of places here. Virgin Islands have Sri Lanka, Marylander, Malaya, and uh, plenty of other things. Oh my, Mainer, Australia. <laughs> Mainer Australia, do they have, yep, of course they have New Zealand as well. So yeah, they basically have Oceania. This Japanese state is just taking everything. And they don't even have all of Japan just yet, but they're getting close. Ming is back. Ming is here and Ning. Ning? Ming and Ning. I never thought, yeah, and a bunch of Chinese states in general. Rhode Island is pretty far inland. Maine, by the way, barely even exists in North America. And they actually might not soon enough because Wisconsin's just gonna take them out. Florida's now hiding in the Himalayas because, uh, well, what else can they do, honestly? This is scary. Just <laughs> don't come out of the mountains. Maryland has a lot of, like, Indonesia and Indochina, and then there's also... The Virgin Islands have taken all of the Philippines. Maine is starting to lose their hold over Australia. I don't think a state... Yeah, the other states are trying to get parts of this just because I guess other countries aren't letting them take anything else. Oh, and Japan has officially formed. And Japan, I think, might win this game. Is it possible for Japan to win this game? Wow. I cannot believe this place formed. <laughs> What do I say about this? Who who made this? I'm gonna have to go back into the timeline to figure this out because this is way too crucial. It looks like it's it's Arkansas. They heard me pronouncing it Arkansas and they got mad maybe. Yep, there it is. Okay, figured that one. And uh, and this is the rest of the results. This is how Wisconsin got kicked out because these are the only two places left. Oh, Connecticut starting to have a little bit of success just south of the Horn of Africa as Japan really starts to colonize this continent. Also, West Virginia's here. Totally forgot about West Virginia. I have a bad feeling someone not in North America is going to win this because these nations are looking good. South Carolina just trying to hold the, just holding on. Oh, Maine has been having trouble from the Virgin Islands. I don't know how the Virgin Islands got this powerful, although they lost a lot of the Philippines. Actually, yeah, and Indonesia too. Maryland lost this stuff. Hawaii did literally nothing this whole time, and I can't believe it. I thought they would maybe win this, but they grabbed these islands, and then that's it. They grabbed Midway. And they said, all right, we're done. Confederate states have taken the title of South America, Confederate South America, away from Maryland. Vermont is still here, though. But yeah, it's uh, just these two still. And I guess they're getting along well in this continent. Let's not forget, though, that New York is back. And they are just being held against their will, barely. I mean, they have some coastline. Actually, wait a second. Is this a vassal? No, no, no. They're just homies. Something clearly went really wrong with uh, my decolonization mod, I'm assuming, because no one even touched Europe, which is really... Weird and unfortunate, but uh, yeah, that's what happened. Time to see who won. Maryland squeezing eighth place in, which they are maybe the only ones because then we have people that didn't even start off. Wow, surprised that Japan didn't, didn't pull away with this. But all right, this kind of makes up for it. Utah and Arkansas. And, the, but, and these, they're going by their new names, but uh, they've won the game. This is... <laughs> did not think the Confederate States was going to win our US state battle. I really just didn't think we'd see that type of twist. I've done this before with the German states. I thought it'd be fun with the American states. American culture is taking over all of the Western hemisphere. Might do it with the UK at some point. And faith hasn't really changed that much. Or let me know down below if you have a specific country you'd like to see take over the world. Not sure if they can though, because they didn't really, they, there's a lot of members, but new people, but that's that's fine. You guys. You guys made up for it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to LFC, Elijah Senpai, Roosterication, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, Bonnie Day Fami, Furry Cruise, Mr. Perkle, Cooter Donkey, Brandon Hinkle, Alfonso M6, Militime, Mega Fat Boy 2.0, The Hentai Lover, Sleeper 56, Birthday Daddy, Bowling Like Stalin, Lol Knight, Clovin. Thank you.